today. I want to talk about the honor boxes. Uh, the last video I made, I was totally trashing honor boxes, and I don't mean to upset anyone who has honor boxes and that's what they do for a living. I'm not trying to uh, rain on your parade, if you will. I just want people to know the truth about honor boxes. And what it really goes to show is it's not the truth about honor boxes, it's the truth about our society. People are not honest and people are going to steal the candy that you put in your honor boxes. In the last video I made, I talked about how I put out five honor boxes. It took me an hour and a half. That was one of the videos I made. Another video I made, I talked about the theft, the amount of theft that I dealt with. Now there's two ways of looking at the theft. When you, let me, let me pull a box up real quick. This is one of the honor boxes that I just retrieved from the location that I really want to get a gumball machine in. When I first put the honor box, it was a paint store right near my office, as I mentioned before. When I first put that honor box in, what I did was I put a bunch of candy in that honor box. Let me show you what it looks like. This, this is what the honor box looks like the one that I put in the paint store. That was the first box that I put in the paint store. When I went to retrieve the box, I put a box that looked like this. It was full of lollipops. And the reason I switched it from candy, so the reason I switched from the loose candy to the lollipops is because I was told there's less of a demand on the lollipops, so there's going to be less theft. And, and when I went to service the honor boxes, I only went to one location. And it was a location that I knew I could go in very quickly, grab the honor box, switch out, put the new one in that has all the candy full. This one is empty or half empty. A third of the way is empty. So I just easily ran in, dropped off the new box, grabbed the old one, and I went back to my car. And it really took literally 15, 20 seconds at the most. I didn't see anybody in the store. I knew they were back in the office because I could hear them. But I didn't have to interact with anybody. I didn't have to say hello, say goodbye. You know, there's no small chit chat. So easy, easy to get in the door, easy to get out the door. Okay. There was less theft the second time I went to this paint store. And there's two ways that you can look at the theft. When I opened up this box, there was $6 inside. There was five dollar bills and there was four quarters. That was it, okay? When I, count the, when I count the pockets that were empty, the holes that were empty where the lollipops sit, there were five lollipops that were unpaid for. So there's two ways to look at the cost of the theft. The candy I know costs 10 cents a piece, that's the average, you know, give or take a penny, give or take, you know, a fraction of a penny, okay? So let's say that each, each lollipop costs 10 cents, but what I want to sell it for is 50 cents. If there's five pieces missing, five pieces that are not paid for, they actually either stole 50 cents, because that's what I paid for it at Sam's, or I can say they stole $2.50, based on the fact that each one is selling for 50 cents. This, this honestly is better than the loose little uh, candy bars. There's less theft in lollipops. I've been told that. And I was told that after I put the first boxes out, so I didn't really, and you know what, even if I was told that lollipops would uh, have less theft, even if I was told that lollipops would have less theft, I may have tried to do the loose candy bars, the small fun size candy bars, because I'm stubborn. And I like to try things the way I feel like they should work. Sometimes, sometimes people give me advice or ideas, and a lot of times they'll go back in the back of my head and they'll just kind of simmer back there. And I still think I know better, you know, but I have to admit, lollipops, there's less theft. So there is something else I want to talk 
to you about, and that is little things. I want to show you something. I went, uh, I went out of town for a few days, and I was actually able to stay at a really nice hotel. And as I was checking in, you know, it was a nice hotel, beautiful room and everything, and I went into the restroom and uh, was either going to use the restroom or wash my face or something. And I noticed this on the tub. Look at this on the tub. Now, this actually spoke volumes to me. This, this really meant something. It meant a lot to me. I don't know why. I mean, it was just a really small trinket. Something really tiny on the tub here, this small little duck on the tub. But it was just a little tiny touch that just, it made you feel just a little bit more like you were at home, you know? It's just a personal touch. Most people would probably steal that little duck. You know, they think it's cute. I know those ducks probably cost about 50 cents. I've seen them in Walmart. But it's just an added little touch and that, that makes you, you know, it gives you just a little bit of a feeling of happiness just a little bit more of a feeling of happiness I don't know if that's making any sense or not but sometimes in the business we we're in such a hurry to get inside grab the money dump the candy lock it up clean it run out the door but sometimes little things can help like if you give a card like a little uh, Christmas card or a greeting card or if you find out that one of the employees where you have a vending machine is having a birthday maybe bring them a cupcake or something. I don't know. I mean, little things mean a lot. And as I said, when I went into that hotel, when I checked into that hotel, it's the first time, and I've been in hotels all my life. You know, it's the first time in my life I ever saw a little tiny duck like that by the bathtub. And it just, for most people, they would just think it's a stupid idea. But to me, it just, it meant something. It just was a little, it's like icing on the cake, if you will. You know, or it's like a cherry on top of a sundae. The Sunday doesn't really need the cherry. And if you owned a restaurant and you made Sundays, maybe you think to yourself, I don't want to spend $2 on a jar of cherries because nobody even eats the cherries. I used to work in a restaurant. I used to see people, we would put cherries in their drinks sometimes and you would always see it left on the table. You know people don't eat that, but it's just a little tiny touch. Or like some people say, you know, like some restaurants, they'll put parsley on the plate. You know, most people aren't going to eat the parsley but it's just something nice. It's just something a little extra, okay? I hope that helps you guys with your videos. I know this wasn't a very detailed video on learning anything new, but um, okay, so that's all I really wanted to share with you. Um, in another video coming up, I wanted to talk to you about something I found. I think I found something that nobody's ever discovered out in the desert. Oh, well, up in the mountains, actually. Kind of a deserty, mountainy. I found something I think you guys are going to be excited about, and that'll be in the next video. Okay? So, if you like these videos, please subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up. Uh, give me some comments. Give me some feedbacks. I love reading the feedbacks. I do read everybody's feedback. I'm trying the best that I can to get back to everybody's feedback and give a comment back because I know that's the polite thing to do, and I'm trying to get caught up. Um, I just get way so many. I probably get 30, uh, maybe 30 or 40 a week. So bear with me. And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. And I will catch you guys on another video. Uh, or you'll catch me on another video. And a lot of you guys are making videos, and I, I really appreciate it. And another thing I really wanted to say is thank you for all of the people that have subscribed to this channel. I do appreciate you guys subscribing. I do appreciate your feedback. And uh, I know a lot of you guys that are subscribed to my videos, you do make videos and I do catch not all of them. I can't catch all of them. There's so many videos and there's so many channels. But I do my best to watch every now and then, you know, a few videos. And I'm amazed because a lot of these people that I've seen in the beginning, you know, I see how they start off really small and then I won't see a video of theirs for, let's say, six months and I come back and their, their business is booming. So I know you guys are building some businesses of your own, and I, I, I applaud you for that. I'm proud of you guys for doing that. I really am. I'm proud of you guys 
for taking the initiative to build something that you own. And I hope that in a way, I hope that one day you can make something that will provide you with an income and you don't have to work for somebody else. You get to work for yourself. All right, so that's the video of the day. Um, I'll catch you guys on another video or you'll catch me on another video. Have a good evening. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon.